here we have a CPU and motherboard, two items that came in for repair. The motherboard is the, six, the Z690 classified, and it looks something like this. And the customer also mailed the 12900 CPU. It came in its original box. Let's read what the customer wrote, and we'll take it from there. So the i9-12900K CPU and the EVGA Z690 classified. I deleted the CPU, and upon scraping the silicon, I rubbed a very tiny component off. For the motherboard, I dropped a small tool on the CPU pins. It's not terrible, but there's a decent area that isn't perfect. So the customer managed to damage the pins on the socket and rip a component of the CPU. It can happen. Let's take a look at the motherboard first, and then we can look at the CPU. Hopefully, it's something we can help the customer with. That's an expensive motherboard. EVGA Z690 classified. I'll look it up. And the customer said one tiny area. Right now, I'm looking at any discoloration in the pins. You can tell if there's a bent pin or a broken pin by looking at how light shines on those pins. I can tell there's something going on right here by just looking at the socket. Right there, you see? I mean, I did not look at the socket pin by pin, but just looking at how the light shines on the pins, I'm able to tell that there's something shiny right here. I lost it. I can tell there's something shiny right here. And that pin is not shiny anymore. And when I say shiny, I do not know if you can see it on camera. But if you look at the socket on camera, the way the light shines on the pins, you can tell there's something going on on the right side, middle right side of the socket. Right there. And that's what I mean by shine. Some of you may not know but now you do. So let's look at this area and see what's going on. We have something that doesn't look right here. And we have a mess here. And if you look here, it looks like we have a broken pin. We cannot do anything about a broken pin, but we're gonna hope and pray that this pin is not important. Not all the pins are important, and I do not know if this one is. I mean, those here do not look too bad. They do not have to be perfect, but this one we cannot do anything about. And rest of the pins, we're not going to tamper too much with. As long as the pins are not shortened out, they're not touching each other, and they're not bent backwards, then we should be okay. This here looks okay to me and I think we should be okay and again I'm not looking at the pins to check which one is bent and which one is not I'm just looking at the way light is shining on the pins that's how I'm able to tell where we have problems I'm moving my head left and right, up and down, and trying to scan the pins on the socket and see if there's anything unusual. Right now, everything looks perfect to me.
and the only thing I see wrong is that broken pin. There's a slight error margin, even if that pin is shifting a bit to the left or a bit to the right, it's not a big deal. All right, I think we're good with the motherboard. Let's take a look at the CPU and see what's going on. Customer said that he deleted the CPU. Deleting. I do not know why everybody want to delete their CPU. 12900K is a very powerful CPU. And I do not think that you're going to use the full power of the CPU unless you have a specific task in mind and you really have to do it. I do not see a reason why anybody would want to delete their CPU. Customer mailed over the CPU like this in two pieces. And we're going to be working on this part right here. We do not see any missing components here. I see two missing components here. We need to find out the value of those two components. Anything else? We do not have any missing components here. And that's it. So we have two missing components right here. We need to figure out what those components are. But before we do, let's prep the pads. And we're going to use our NF.mini pen. And I'm going to take a minute to get the values of those two components, and I'll be back. I did a quick search online for those two components, and I'm not able to locate anybody that has the values. If you know the values of those two components, let me know. Leave it down in the comments. We have components on the top. We have components on the side. We do not have any components here, and we have those. I do not even know if those components should go vertical or horizontal, but we need to know the values of those components. If you have a 12900K CPU and you're able to take measurements, let me know. Or if you know the values, leave it down in the comments. And that's it. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.